But what, let's get in this top seven and see how things are changing. Let's talk about those teams that dropped out. Dropping out of the top seven this week, going into the preseason, these are teams that didn't get it done this past weekend. Some of it was scheduling. Some of it just didn't get it done. Dropping out. We had four teams that fell out of the top seven. Didn't do much in preseason. We'll see if it changed over the season. But uh, my educated analytics and guests were not quite on in week one. Alcorn State Braves fall out after a tough loss. Howard Bison fall out. They were game ready, but they lost. Alabama and the Bulldogs, they're playing another one of those power five teams out of the SEC. Vanderbilt mm -hmm. held their own early, but it got away from them. Then you have the Southern Jaguars. They had a SWAC non-conference matchup on the road. Mm -hmm. um, played great defense, but not so much on the offensive side. Big matchup this weekend. We'll talk about that a little later, but Southern Jaguars lost. Meaning we get into the top seven. Let's see what's going on in the top seven, starting with none other than number seven drum roll, the Jackson State Tigers. One and one on season 0 and 1. 157 points that dropped from previous being ranked four. After a big win in week zero, they had a conference matchup, and fan rattlers finally got over the hill, which means Jackson State. Uh, will not continue to have those conference wins that were adding up over two years. They were undefeated, and somebody finally said, all right, Tigers, not so fast. Mm. At number six, Hampton Pirates, 1-0, 166 points. They took out some Tigers themselves, but there was the Grand State Tigers. They were not ranked last week, but they vaulted into the top seven at number six. Kudos to the Pirates. Bringing us to number five, Alabama State Hornets. 1-0, 185 points. They were not ranked. We talked about Southern dropping out. Well, the team that Southern lost to was none other than this Alabama State Hornets team. Uh, they were able to play significant defense and look like they didn't uh, drop off any from last year. Offense, they had two big touchdowns and was enough to get them the victory. Bringing us to number four, Prairie a and Panthers. 1-0, also 1-0 in the conference race. As they get a win over Labor Day Classic, come back. They were down 34-17 in the fourth. Charles made a couple of calls and did what he had to do. Going <laughs> to touchdown at the end of the game, uh, getting it done in overtime. As they kicked the game-winning field goal in overtime, just set the season up right, send the Tigers home for the ninth straight loss to the Panthers. Here be right now. Has the magic stick. With that being said, let's get to number three. Top three program. Morgan State Bears, 1-0. Oh, probably had one of yeah. the most impressive wins this week. Not yeah. just because it was historically white college. I know some of y'all get hung up over that. But this team was ranked top 25 yes. uh, in terms of FCS rankings. Uh, they go on the road against Richmond, win, and get it done. 204 points. They were not ranked. These four teams were not ranked. We just talked about but they jumped into the ranking. Everybody said quietly, watch out for Morgan State. Some people were saying there's some question mark quarterback play. Uh, defense uh, under Antoine Sue, formerly of Prairie View. I know he's a Bulldog State Bulldog, but we claim him. He brought us a championship defensive back coach uh, and has run him up with coach. Down there getting it done, Bowie State. Looks like he's, they're up to their old ways at Morgan State as they rebuilding this program. Second year, impressive win. Bring this number two. Florida and the Rattlers. Coach Simmons said, enough is enough. They get it done, 1-0. and oh. They were ranked number two, two, 220 points. They stay there. Bringing us to number one, North Carolina Central Eagles. I got corrected uh, by Stephen Gaither. Gaither said they are not old school. They are not the little brothers of North Carolina Central. All I will say is they took them to the woodshed. Let me put it that way. One and oh, 11 first place bonus, 231 points, number one ranking. North Carolina Central plays another rivalry. This time they're on equal footing, FCS Ooh. program. We'll talk yeah. about that as well, but that's what we have this week. Let me say this. Those teams receiving votes, though, are Howard Bison, 0-1, uh, but they had a good matchup, 148 points. Alcorn State Braves, also 0-1. Uh, they stay in the mix. And Texas Southern <clears> Tigers <throat> with that close overtime loss, they stay in the shouting distance as they – have 131 points looking on the outside, looking in. I started with you, Mike, last time. I'm going to go to you, Charles. What are your thoughts? 
Uh, first and foremost, kudos to Florida AM. Uh, they knocked off Jackson State, knocked off 19 games, swag winning streak, and they did it in embarrassing. They knocked off the bullies, Charles. Yeah, Jackson State very, was the bullies of the swag. Very much, very much an impressive fashion. Can't say enough about Willie Simmons. Uh, they pounded Jackson State from the jump. And just as we talked about Jackson State pounding South Carolina State along the line of scrimmage in week zero, bam, you turn around and did it to them. So you take your hat off to them. Uh, they got a, a win that they needed to get over this Jackson State hump. And I think, more importantly, the fan base needed that win over Jackson State. So you take your hat off to them. Uh, Hampton, very impressive. They're swag killers. I don't know when the last time Hampton has, has, has lost to a swag team. So, you know, uh, they probably, you know, as they get in the conference play, Reality sets in, but um, right now, you know, <laughs> you know, it, it, it <laughs> that they, they take the swag to the woodshed. So, uh, impressive win by Hampton over Bramlin. Uh, and you know, you can't say enough about North Carolina Central. I mentioned this Sunday, uh, good teams do dominant things, uh, and and they did it this past weekend in terms of what they were able to do. So, I'm looking forward to this Central and NT matchup this upcoming weekend. When you talk about Hampton, they like to take the MEAC to the woodshed as well. Um, they just uh, get it done against HBC programs. It's like they stick out their chest. Yeah. And then, uh, conference play is different, something else. But got a couple of more MEAC this week, and, and that's going to be against the uh, Coastal as well, formerly known as the Colonial. So we'll see what that means. You did get the victory by Richmond, I mean by Morgan State over Richmond. So that's a good way to start the Coastal. We'll see what that means as we got that at some big matchups as well. But let me turn it over to Mike and see what he has to say uh, as I purposely uh, pushed him to the backside since he wasn't too nice to me on the mid major. Let's see if he can be more kind at this time before I take the mic. Well, actually, I, I you know what? I can't say anything about this. It's 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 pretty good in week one. About go time. With, you know, <laughs> but but do you know why? <laughs> uh, I because at first I said, hmm, North Carolina Central. You know, to me, the most impre- impressive win was Morgan State uh, over Rich- – not because they're a PW, because they're ranked. To me, that mm-hmm. was a more impressive win. But when you're central, you're big daddy at the top of the hill. You move to number 18 in the F- – so uh, no no issues with there. And and for that uh, fan you, what's that? What's that off my shoulder? What's that off my back? That monkey. That yeah. monkey is That's awesome. true. <laughs> Finally. So – no issues with this poll whatsoever. A lot of press. The other one I would say is Alabama State. I know you don't like this, Doc, but man, I saw that game. You talking about the eye, the eye test? I Ooh. know you don't like that term. Ooh. I, I know you saw it too, CB. That defense for Alabama State. Woo! Can Woo. they get it? Can they get in the offense? That's the question. That's, That's right. The That's question. the only question. So, they traveled so, yeah, to Tyler Hess in a couple of weeks. We gonna yeah, see, we gonna <laughs> right. see, and we yeah, gonna see, we gonna see. 